back to Heart and Soul. We're at Cinespace Chicago, over 1.5 million square feet of studio space. The building is set right behind us. Well, CineCares has a great mentorship program, and other great mentors are coaches. That's why Jamile Cannon created The Block to help children overcome life's obstacles through boxing and ultimately learn how to fight for their success. Once you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, there's nothing that can stop you. You've learned how to push yourself to the point where nobody else can impose their will on you. In order to do that, you have to master your own, your own wills and get over the things that, that hold you back in many cases. Your, your impulses or lack of confidence or uh, procrastination, all those things get rooted out when you're in boxing. Hey, don't you dare stop in the middle of this round. Let's go. I started the block because I realized that there was a lot of talent in this community. A lot of really talented kids grow up on the west side of Chicago and they fall into uh, trouble life paths because they don't have the resources and opportunities that would guide them to success. I felt a responsibility to expand the program to reach uh, as many kids in the community as I could. Get yourself a partner, let's get to it. I started boxing because I like to fight and boxing is a positive way for me to do that, make something out of it. The boxing aspect of this program, it, it, it inspires confidence, it teaches them how to push themselves in, in new ways. We always find a way like like test ourselves and push ourselves to like be better like inside and outside the uh, boxing ring. If he's too tense, he's gonna he's gonna jump and overcommit to things. All right. There's also a mentorship aspect to the program. He showed me how to be a young adult, and he showed me that he's like another father figure, something I never had. Don't hold your hands out like this. Or like gonna play patty cake with him. Can't be having that. <laughs> I try to make myself somebody who's hard to let down, and I do that by going the extra mile for them and showing them that I'm extremely invested in their success. He's like, your grade point average matter before boxing. My grade point average was at a, was a 1.5, and I came and got it back up to a 3.4. One big thing about Mr. Cannon, like, he always pushes us to, like, bring our 100% effort and make us be better every day. Make it count. It's not supposed to be easy. I think the misconception is that that I'm teaching kids how to be determined or teaching uh, students how to be, how, how to show responsibility, but they already have those traits in them, and we just help to bring them out. Good, Leo. Way to stay in. You can't tell me that they're not determined when the, their, their lights may be turned off, there may have been some violence on the street, uh, they may be going through problems at home, but they still come ready to learn every day. One, three, two. I don't give up on things that I think are hard for me. I keep trying to persevere through. They have huge goals for themselves, uh, and if you you ask students what they want to do with their lives, I don't think I, they're not they're not hopeless like a lot of people think that they are. Uh, so I want to help them paint a map from where they are to where they want to be, so that they actually see, hey, I can really do this, and start taking steps to make it happen. Never give up, man. Never give up. The Block Boxing Club is converting an old West Humboldt Park church to create a fourth boxing gym and an after-school sanctuary for the children. Now, we can't talk about boxing without mentioning merciless Mary McGee, a tenacious and talented female boxer who, after hurtling through relentless training and life challenges, brought the International Boxing Federation's super lightweight title to her hometown of Gary, Indiana. I've been boxing 20 years and finally I have the piece of the puzzle that was always missing. And continuing with sports, Kamal Murray's foundation is giving economically underprivileged children the chance to play tennis year-round, regardless of their ability to pay. And he's using the sport to help further their education. ABC 7's Jim Rose visited the spectacular Southside facility and caught up with Coach Murray. The toss is everything. Control the toss. There you go. Come on, Murray. You are a star coach in the tennis world. And today here we are at your beautiful facility here on the south side. This is kids from the neighborhood as well as kids from all around the world coming to one melting pot and being able to take from each other. Absolutely. The peer-to-peer -peer experience in this building is one of a kind. Adults and kids playing in the same facility. A lot of mentor-mentee relationships. And this place and this sport is designed to do just that. Tell us a little bit about the scholarship program that you have for kids, because it's not just tennis that they're getting immersed in. And really, tennis is really the vehicle to help these kids get college scholarships. I did it. These kids, under the right guidance, could definitely capitalize on that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so we couple the education, the test prep, with what we do on the court to try to make this whole kid that we call a student athlete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like.
In the future, I want to be a doctor, but also play tennis on the side. After high school, I got a tennis scholarship to Tennessee State. That was just such a blessing for us because my family, my mom, my dad, they work so hard, and I don't think they would be able to afford college. And now I am currently on the pro circuit. For these kids, college is the ultimate goal. And if lightning strikes uh -huh. and one of them happens to make it on the pro tour, that's great. This man has also coached some very famous tennis players, including Sloane Stevens. Tell us about your relationship with her, how she grew from when you got her to where she is today. We've had a lot of success together. After you know, five years now, there's a lot of tug of war, but it's, it's all out of love and it's all out of respect. And I've tried to make a point to help her grow on the court, help her create an identity as a tennis player, mm -hmm. but also morph that off the court and help her grow as a young woman. When I see this facility, this looks like a rebirth here. Yeah. You have plans for the whole neighborhood. I think for a long time we've waited on uh, commercial development to recreate our neighborhoods, when really we can recreate them around things we do every day, mm -hmm. like school mm -hmm. and extracurricular activities. I think that's the idea around the South Side, and so we're, we're very happy that the original intent is now starting to come to fruition. Mama, are you doing a great job? Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. There you go. Much better. Much better. And Cheryl, you're also doing something really wonderful to help Chicago students earn some scholarships. Yeah, Jose, I feel so honored and blessed recently creating and establishing the Cheryl Burton Scholarship at my alma mater, Lynn Bloom, in Chicago, where I got perfect attendance for four years. <laughs> it will be awarded to two students following in our footsteps and pursuing a career in journalism in college, Jose. That's a wonderful I'm so time. Chicago proud. Coming up next on Heart and Soul. Every day, you must do something good for someone. That's how I run my life. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.